Hi everyone! In the previous video I showed you how to mesh any particle system in 3ds Max using the Phoenix particle texture plugged into the Phoenix Mesher. So in this video I'm going to show you another trick which is how to merge several particle systems into one mesh again using the Phoenix particle texture and uh, also note that uh, these same things can be done in Phoenix for Maya again in the Phoenix Nightlies so I'm using the latest nightly build, it's from the 5th of October and I'm going to start by creating a sphere and a tap water preset and before I run the simulation I'm going to go to the grid rollout and make the grid a bit wider and I'm also going to decrease the grid resolution like this so I will start the simulation Oops. here we are and liquid particles are getting emitted and I will enable splash and mist uh, it asks me if I want to create a particle shader but I'm not going to create one because I'm not going to render these as bubbles or splashes I'm going to just merge them into the liquid mesh so you can see that the blue ones are the liquid particles here in the preview rollout you can see that liquid particles are blue splashes are these white blue particles right here and the yellow ones are the mist and mist particles are getting created from the splash uh, because of this option right here splash to mist is on by default so I think that this is pretty much enough I'm going to stop the simulation right here and uh, I will go into the play mode so I'm also going to disable the particle preview and this is the liquid mesh so the liquid particles are getting converted into liquid grid by the simulation automatically and then the phoenix mesh transforms the liquid grid into a mesh so here uh, the surface channel is set to grid liquid by default you can also mesh the grid smoke the grid speed grid fuel or grid viscosity but in this case i'm going to mesh a texture so here i'm going to plug a phoenix particle texture and in the particle texture I'm going to choose the Phoenix liquid particles here they are and in order to get a viewport preview it's very important to disable the render time only option right here so here they are and you can even see the particles right here in the material editor these are the different particles emitted around the sphere so you can see that they're pretty broken up and one of the reasons for this is because right here the particle area radius is 0.1 meters but here in the grid rollout you can see that the cell size is 0.138 uh, so if I dial this in it gets better and I can also play with the areas blending method so I can use biggest or equal and now this is uh, getting much better and I can make the particles even chunkier and it really depends on the effect that I want to get so uh, I can choose between different uh, particle blending methods and uh, these are the liquid particles so I can also create another Phoenix particle texture and I will use this one to load these splash particles so again I'm going to disable render time only and if I plug this texture right here as a surface channel here are the splashes meshed so I can scroll the timeline you can see these are the splash particles again they're they are pretty broken up because I'm still using the smaller uh, particle area radius and I can combine these two textures by just using a composite map so I'll create one I'm going to create another layer and I will plug the liquid particles into layer 1 and the splash particles into layer 2 and just add them together so I will use this one as a surface channel and here it is so here are the liquid particles meshed together with the splash particles and also uh, I can uh, because the uh, composite texture is, is so powerful I can add them together 
or I can do any kind of uh, crazy stuff. For example, I can multiply them. And uh, in this case, I'm getting basically the overlap of the liquid particles and the splash particles. So uh, what is getting meshed are those places where there are liquid particles and splash particles nearby. So I'm going to return this back to, whoops, not average, but back to addition. And uh, again, I can play with the size of the splash particles so I can increase them, make them larger like this. Whoops, let's make them larger. Here they are. No, why do I keep resetting this? Okay, here are the big splash particles. And again, you can uh, you can control this in many ways and it creates very interesting opportunities. So you can also uh, merge uh, more particle systems together again by plugging them into uh, into this composite map or uh, uh, adding them together in different ways. And uh, one more thing that I wanted to show you was a different setup. So I'm going to create these cache files and uh, I'm going to show you how to mesh um, the Phoenix wet map. So I'm going to create this teapot, which I'm going to use to create the wet map over. So if I start the simulation right now, I'm even gonna turn off the mesh preview, enable the particle preview, and I have to go under dynamics and enable wetting right here. So I can also disable the splash simulation. It doesn't really matter. And so here it is. The liquid creates these red wet map particles over all of the geometries that it touches. It would also create them over the jammed walls of the simulator. So you will start seeing them right here in a bit at the bottom and possibly on the sides of the simulator as well. And basically this is what I want. So I am going to create yet another Phoenix particle texture. And in this one, I'm going to pick the wet map particles of Phoenix liquid 001. I'm going to disable render time only, and I will plug these, the texture with the wet map particles right here as a surface channel. And I'm going to enable the mesh preview once again. So here it is. I'm going to disable the particle preview. And now you can see again, the mesh is pretty broken up. So I'm going to blend it together, switching to equal and decreasing the particle size like this. So you can see that we're starting to get those grid artifacts right here. And uh, I can increase the mesh smoothing like this and get rid of them. So now the mesh is much smoother. And here it is. So now uh, using the Phoenix particle texture, you can also turn the Phoenix wet map into a mesh like this. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you next time.